support their own teams, but are requested to refrain. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to PlayOnSports.com. Tonight, or this afternoon, I should say, it is the CIF SAC Joaquin Section Division I semifinals between the Army O Indians and the St. Mary's Rams. And my name is Paul Sheet, and I'll be proud to be bringing you all the action courtside from the University of the Pacific and the Spano Center tonight as St. Mary's prepares to take on Army O. These two teams have four common opponents on the year. Christian Brothers, first opponent. St. Mary's defeated Christian Brothers 88-71 on December the 1st. Army O 10 days later took on Christian Brothers, lost 79-61. Deer Valley on December the 4th, the Rams prevailed 79-52. On January 5th, the Indians lost 62-50. Lincoln High School of Stockton, St. Mary's took them on on January the 7th, winning 96-36. And Army O took on the Trojans as well, winning 58-43 on January the 3rd. And just a couple weeks ago, St. Mary's took on St. Francis, the Troubadours of Sacramento, prevailing 91-22 in that one. And Army O just took on that very team in the, in the quarterfinals, winning 76-48 on February 21st. Two teams with different resumes. Rams, of course, they are the huge favorite this afternoon. Number 16 in the United States of America, according to MaxPreps.com. Number 7 in the state of California. Number 1 in the Sac Joaquin section. They are the seven-time state champions. They are the Colossus. For Armio, 23-6, 10-0 in the Monticello Empire League, winning their league championship with an undefeated record. Christian Stoll, their coach, and done a fine job building this Armio program. How the two teams, the road to this game tonight, or this afternoon, I should say. First of all, for St. Mary's on February 19th, they opened up against Bear Creek, winning 92 to 24. And then in the quarterfinals, St. Mary's defeated Pleasant Grove 94-54 at the very cozy Morelli Gymnasium. Army O took on Merced in the opening round of the playoffs, and they prevailed at home 52 to 31. And then in the quarterfinals, Armio took on St. Francis, winning 76 to 48 to set up the matchups this afternoon. We're now ready for the introduction of the starting lineups. First for the visiting team, the number five seed, the Armio Indians. At the point guard, number 24, Marshanique Hall. At the off guard, Deja Daniels, number 20. At the small forward spot, Number five, Justice Robinson Kroon. At the power forward spot, number 30, Malaya Gaines. And in the middle, number 33, Laura Lawson. For the St. Mary's Rams starting lineup tonight, at the point guard, a 5'6 sophomore, number 14, Bree Moore. At the off guard, a 5'10 freshman, number 12, Kat Tudor. At the small forward spot, a 5'5 senior, number 24, Maria Lauren Ramos. At the power forward spot, a 5'9 senior, number 32, Unique Coleman. And in the middle for the Rams, a 5'8 junior, number 44, Sharice Holloway. And the St. Mary's Rams are, of course, coached by Tom Gonsalves, who has won six state titles at St. Mary's in search of his seventh state title personally, the eighth in school's history, school winning its first title under Dr. Jim Grady. St. Mary's High School would like to thank the following sponsors of St. Mary's Rams basketball who helped make these games possible here on PlayOnSports.com. Chase Chevrolet, The Bank of Stockton, Berberian Motors, New York Life, Cordo Olive Oil, McDonald's, the Pacheco and Samara Law Group. And we're getting ready for the opening tap. St. Mary's clad in their home white uniforms with green trim and green numerals. The Indians in black uniforms with purple numbers and gold trim and white piping throughout. So the black versus the white tonight. Getting ready to jump center. It'll be Malaya Gaines getting set to go one-on-one -on -one with Unique Coleman at midcourt. Three official crew now that we're up in the semifinals, which could make things a little more interesting. St. Mary's dependent on that full court press. That is their bread and butter. They want to force turnover after turnover after turnover. And that sometimes can get a little bit tricky with that third official. 
So we'll see how things go tonight. Our, we're ready to go for the opening tap. And the opening tap is up, and it's controlled by the Rams. Bree Moore sets the offense at midcourt for the Rams. Coming out in the 2-3 look. Lauren Ramos handling it, top of the key, sends it to Moore. Moore penetrates, dribble drive, give and go to Holloway. Holloway for the layup. Rams up 2-0, and they come out in the press. And ball intercepted by Lauren Ramos. Give it back to Moore. Into the corner for Tudor. Tudor for three. She eyes it, tries it, and Tudor buys it. Rams quickly up 5 nothing, And quickly, Christian Stoll, coach Four. of the Army O Indians, calls timeout. 7.26 left to go. First quarter here from the Spano Center at the University of the Pacific. St. Mary's 5, Army O nothing. Play on sports and CIF Sac Joaquin TV. We'll have all the action of the CIF Sac Joaquin section championships live from Sleep Train Arena in Sacramento. Friday night, the action begins at 4 p.m. with the Division V Girls Championship, Brookside Christian versus Capital Christian. And Saturday, the action begins at 11.30 a.m. with the Division IV Girls, Bear River taking on Bradshaw Christian. The Girls D1 Championship game is Saturday at 6.30 on the same sites with St. Mary's Army a winner taking on the Kennedy Oak Ridge winner. Again, Saturday night, 6.30, live from the Sleep Train Arena. It's the girls' Division I section championship matchup here on playonsports.com and CIF Sac Joaquin TV. Over the top, Army goes to defeat the press. And at the other end, jumper shot and missed by Gaines. Rebound taken by Holloway. Holloway off and running to Lauren Ramos. Cross court pass to Moore. Out to Tudor, top of the key three. Eyes it, tries it, and buys it. Eight nothing Rams with the early lead. Full court press, and we're gonna have reach foul on St. Mary's on the press. Foul's on number 32, Unique Coleman. That's her first personal. Foul is called on Unique Coleman. First personal, first team foul. Rams again. Don't let that foul stop them. They come out in the press. Over the top, Gaines, Gaines into the corner. Three-pointer on the way, no good by Deja Daniels. Ball goes out of bounds, and Army will maintain possession as the ball went off Bree Moore's foot. Justice Robinson Croon giving it up to Marshany Call. Hall penetrates, misses a four-foot jumper, gets her own rebound, put back. Finally in by Malaya Gaines and Armio on the board, 8-2. Gaines with the rebound put back bucket. St. Mary's up 8-2. Moore thinks about the three-pointer, passes it up, gives it up to Coleman. Coleman giving it to Lauren Ramos. Ramos at the free throw line, kicks it out to Coleman who penetrates, throws up a floater from six, no good. Rebound taken by Gaines. Long pass over the top to Robinson Kroon. Kroon goes up for the shot. Misses the layup, but gets fouled on her way to the bucket. Justice Robinson Kroon will shoot two. Foul is called on Bree Moore. First personal, second team foul on the Rams. Going to the line, shooting two will be Justice Robinson Kroon. First free throw up, in and out, heartbreak. 6-18 left to go, first quarter, St. Mary's eight, Army 0-2. Second free throw is up, and it's no good off the back of the iron. Malaya Gaines with the rebound put back, no good. And Tudor gets the rebound. Holloway at the other end, under control. I think she traveled on her way to the bucket, and she did. Sharice Holloway caught the ball at the free throw line, out of control, and she travels. St. Mary's turnover. Long over the top pass, intercepted by Holloway for St. Mary's. Holloway off to Moore. Moore penetrates, Moore goes all the way to the bucket, easy layup for Bree Moore. 
10-2 Rams coming out again in the press. And they draw the turnover. They got the ball to Marshany Call, but Marshany Call had Bree Moore step in front of her and caused Marshany Call to travel. So another Armio turnover. Into the corner for Tudor. Cat at the free throw line, kicks it out to Moore, who's directing the attack at the timeline. Moore now penetrates. Moore into the lane. Kick out to Lauren Ramos from the baseline. Lauren Ramos resets the offense. And a little communication problem. Give and go. Moore gave it up to Lauren Ramos, who tried to give it back to Moore, and Moore had already cut to the bucket. So it's a St. Mary's turnover. And the Rams come out in their press following their own turnover. Marshany Call with the basketball, trying to dribble through pressure. Throws it over the top, and it's intercepted by Lauren Ramos. Lauren Ramos all the way to Holloway. Holloway with the easy bucket. Steal and assist for Maria Lauren Ramos. Rams with pressure. Drilling through Dijah Daniels. Daniels gives it up to Laura Lawson, who misses the chippy. Rebound taken by Unique Coleman. Long pass at the other end, deflected out of bounds by Marshany Call. And it'll still be St. Mary's basketball. They're up 12-2, 5-14 left to go, first quarter. Sharice Holloway takes a seat. Angel Johnson enters the game. Johnson, 5-6, freshman in now for St. Mary's. Johnson with the basketball, giving it up to Coleman. And we've got a foul away from the basketball, pushing foul, the officials say. And they call it on Angel Johnson. First personal, third team foul. And Carissa Ship enters the game for St. Mary's, the 5'7 sophomore, as Maria Lauren Ramos takes a seat. And substitutions don't matter. The Rams will be in the press. Marshany Call trying to dribble through a double team. Over the top to Malaya Gaines. Gaines into the corner for Deja Daniels. Daniels penetrates, throws up a floater from six, gets it to kiss off the glass. 12-4. Rams with the lead in the basketball. Coleman, top of the key, loses the handle, gets it back. Coleman penetrates, gives it up to Angel Johnson. Bucket Angel Johnson, assist unique Coleman. Pressure by the Rams on the inbound. Dribbling through it, Marshany Call into the corner for Deja Daniels. Daniels gives it up for a three-pointer by Robinson Kroon, no good. A rebound taken by Moore. Moore in traffic, trying to dribble through it. Trying to go coast to coast, doesn't, misses the layup. Justice Robinson Kroon with the rebound, and then at the other end, she turns it over. Stolen by Ship for the Rams. Long three pointer on the way. Eyes it, tries it, and buys it. Unique Coleman from downtown Stockton. Oh my. 17 4, Rams with the lead. Full court pressure by the Rams. Marshany Call trying to dribble through it. Gets it over the top to Gaines. Gaines down low to Laura Lawson. And Laura Lawson with the layup. 17-6. When you run that press, you are going to give up some layups, but you're going to more than make up for it in turnovers. Cat Tudor cutting to the bucket. Has her shot blocked. Rebound on the block taken by Marshany Call, whose pass is intercepted by Coleman, Coleman goes strong to the bucket, misses a floater from six, rebound by Malaya Gaines for Armio. Armio with the basketball, Hall dribbling through the pressure, Hall gives it up to the trailer, and an easy bucket for Laura Lawson. 17-8, Armio on a 4-0 run. 3-10 left to go, first period, Rams up by nine. Unique Coleman with the penetration, throws up the floater from six, no good. Laura Lawson with the rebound. Lawson gives it up to Daniels Farmio, who has it deflected by Moore. She gets it back. Marshany Call for the Indians. Penetrates, 16-foot baseline jumper, no good. Rebound taken by Moore. Moore trying to go coast to coast with the rebound. Misses the layup at the other end. Getting the rebound is Malaya Gaines, and they're going to say she got fouled in the backcourt. Fouls on number 14. And that foul is on Bree Moore. Second personal, fourth team foul on the Rams. Team foul situation, four to nothing. Sub. 
Natalie Delgado subbing in for the Rams, along with Maria Lauren Ramos. Bree Moore leaves with her second personal, as does Kat Tudor. Rams steal the inbound pass. Sharice Holloway steps in the lane. Holloway floater from eight, no good. Battle for the rebound, it's tipped. And finally, controlled by Delgado, who kicks it out to Ship. Ship for three, no good. A rebound, fought for and taken in a jump ball. Natalie Delgado gets in a tie up with Marshany Call. Possession and possession arrow will kick the ball over to Armio. 17 8. St. Mary's with the lead. Armio with the basketball. Marshany Call being harassed in the backcourt by Delgado. Hall's pass. Tipped and stolen by Carissa Ship. Ship takes it in for the layup. 19 8. Basket by Ship. Rams with the press, dribbling through it, Marshany Call. Hall's pass over the top, complete and good to Sade Ware, and Sade Ware with the layup. 19-10, Rams up by nine. Delgado with the basketball, gives it to the trailer, Lauren Ramos. Ramos tries to rub off a pick. Finally passes to Holloway. Holloway with the layup, an excellent bounce pass for the assist for Lauren Ramos. 21-10, Rams up by 11. 150 left to go, first period. Marshany Call now trying to dribble through the double team on the press, and her pass is stolen by Holloway. Holloway with the basketball. Holloway penetrates. Holloway misses the shot in the lane, but draws the foul. Foul is called on Marshany Call. First personal, first team foul. Unique Coleman will sub back into the game for St. Mary's, as will Cat Tudor, following the first free throw. Holloway's free throw is up, it's good. St. Mary's 22, Army 0-10, 140 left to go, first period. Carissa Ship takes a seat, as does Angel Johnson. Second free throw, good. Rams up 23-10, and of course, St. Mary's in the press. Marshany Call trying to dribble through it and does this time. Hall gets cut off by Coleman. Long cross court pass to Robinson Kroon. Robinson Kroon, three pointer on the way, no good. Coleman gets the rebound. Coleman in traffic has it stripped by Malaya Gaines. Gaines with a spin move. Three foot jumper in the paint. Good for Malaya Gaines. 23 12. Rams up by 11. Tudor at the other end. Hoists a three pointer. Eyes it, tries it, and buys it. Cat Tudor for three, 26-12. Over the top pass. Robinson Kroon, jumper no good. Denise Robinson Kroon misses the jumper and a foul on the rebound. And wait to see the call. Foul is on Maria Lauren Ramos. First personal, 15 foul. Army will inbound underneath their own bucket. Marshany call looking to get it in. Gets it into Malaya Gaines in the paint. Gaines misses the shot in traffic. Ball stolen on the rebound by Lauren Ramos. Over the top to Holloway. Holloway with a two-on-one break. Spin move misses the bucket. Rebound taken by Sade Ware, and we've got a foul. Fouls on number 44. Foul is called on Sharice Holloway on the press. First personal, 16 foul. Substitutions for Armio. Justice Robinson Kroon back into the game. And for St. Mary's, Sharice Holloway takes a seat. Angel Johnson returns to the floor. Rams with the press. They're up 26 12. 49 seconds left to go, first quarter. Marshany Call dribbling through the double team. Gives it up to Gaines. Gaines goes up strong. This is one of those block charge borderline calls. We'll see which way they go. And they're going to say block. Foul is called on Maria Lauren Ramos. Second personal, 17 foul. And that will send Malaya Gaines to the line, shooting two. Gaines first free throw good, 26-13. St. Mary's leads Armio. Carissa Ship into the game. Maria Lauren Ramos takes a seat with her second personal. 
Two Rams now with two personals apiece. Bree Moore and Maria Lauren Ramos. Second free throw, no good off the back of the iron. Rebound taken by Angel Johnson. Rams up 26-13. 35 seconds left in the quarter. Coleman at the timeline directing traffic, penetrates, throws up the floater from eight, no good. And the rebound goes off Armio, so the Rams will maintain possession. The shot didn't draw iron, so 15 seconds on the shot clock. 27 seconds left to go on the game clock in the quarter. Delgado underneath the bucket looking for someone. Finally gets it into Coleman. Coleman at the arc. Coleman long distance three. Eyes it, tries it, and buys it. 29-13. Dribbling through traffic. Justice Robinson Croon has her pass deflected. Goes back to her. And then the steal comes to Ship. Ship over the top to Johnson. Johnson trying to go for the layup and does. 31 points in the first quarter for the Rams. Up 31-13. Two seconds, one second, and the shot doesn't get off by Army Ho. Your score at the end of one. St. Mary's 31, Army Ho 13. You are listening to the Sac Joaquin section, Division I semifinals, St. Mary's at Army Ho here on playonsports.com. A reminder, folks, St. Mary's High School would like to thank the following sponsors of St. Mary's Rams basketball who helped make these games possible here on PlayOnSports.com. Chase Chevrolet, The Bank of Stockton, Berberian Motors, New York Life, Cordo Olive Oil, McDonald's, the Pacheco and Samara Law Group. From the development office of St. Mary's High School, save Saturday, May 11th, from noon to 5 p.m. for the fourth annual Olive Oil Festival, fun for the entire family. More information on this event may be obtained from the development office. The number there, 957-3340, extension 180. Well, we've got the first quarter stats here, one of the beauties of doing these games at this level. Leading scorer so far, so far on the night is Cat Tudor with three three-pointers, followed by Holloway with eight, Coleman with six, for the Army O Indians, leading scorer Malaya Gaines with five, followed up by Laura Lawson with four. Shooting stats, St. Mary's 12 for 22, 55%. From the three-point arc, St. Mary's five of six, 83%. For the Army O Indians, six of 18, 33%. And the big stat, turnovers, 10 turnovers for Army O, four turnovers for St. Mary's. Any St. Mary's game, that turnover stat jumps off the page at you. Rams will inbound to start the second quarter up 31-13. Coleman with the basketball, penetrates to the free throw line in the paint, throws up a one-handed hook shot from 10, gets it to go. 33-13, Rams with their largest lead of the night, 20. And they're back to the press, and the pass is stolen by Delgado. Delgado gives it up to Coleman. Coleman gives it up to Johnson, who loses the handle, saves it to Tudor. Back to Delgado, over to Ship for three, top of the key, no good off the front of the iron. Rebound taken by Shade Ware. Ware's pass stolen by Tudor. And then Tudor tries to get it to Johnson, and Johnson can't maintain possession. It'll be Army O basketball. Rams with the press. Sideline for Army O. Looking to get it in, Justice Robinson Croon. Over the top to Marshany Call. Hall gets trapped with the double team. Long over the top pass to Robinson Kroon. And Kroon gets fouled on her way to the bucket. They say the foul happened on the shot, so Justice Robinson Kroon will shoot two. Foul is called on Natalie Delgado. First personal, eighth team foul. Foul situation, St. Mary's with eight, Armio with one. Justice Robinson Kroon's first free throw, no good. Armio just one for five from the line. Sharice Holloway comes back into the game for St. Mary's. St. Mary's up 33-13. Second free throw no good off the back of the iron. One for six from the strike for Armio. Rebound taken by Angel Johnson. Rams looking to extend their 20 point lead. 31 big points in the first quarter. Coleman, top of the key, 
directing traffic from the point. Coleman gives it up to Ship. Ship penetrates. Ship's 12-foot mid-range jumper. Good. 35-13. Rams with the press. Terminating her triple way too early was Marshany Call. Manages to slip out to Robinson Croon. Justice Robinson Croon in the lane travels. left to go, first half. Rams up comfortably. Coleman playing the point with Bree Moore in the foul trouble. Two early fouls in this one. Coleman, NBA three-pointer on the way, no good. Long rebound by Tudor, kicks it out to Holloway. Holloway for three. Holloway eyes it, tries it, and buys it. 38-13, Rams up by 25. With the pressure, Marshany Call manages to get it over to Deja Daniels. Daniels, double team, gives it up to Hall. Hall, NBA three-pointer on the way, no good off the back of the iron. Hall with her own rebound, gives it up down low to Malaya Gaines. Gaines with the layup, assist for Marshany Call. Battle for the basketball, finally controlled by Justice Robinson Croon on the floor. Coach Tom Gonsalves wanted a foul there, didn't get it. 38-15, 38-15, 5.48 left to go, first half. Reminder, folks, this is just the start of the weekend here on PlayOnSports.com. PlayOnSports.com and CIF Sac Joaquin TV will have all the action of the CIF Sac Joaquin Championships live from Sleep Train Arena in Sacramento. Friday night, the action begins at 4 p.m. with the D5 Girls Championship. On Saturday, the action begins at 11.30 with the D4 Girls Championship. The Girls D1 Championship game is Saturday at 6.30 on the same sites with St. Mary's Armio winner taking on Kennedy Oak Ridge winner. And all the action will be here on playonsports.com. Rams with the double team off the timeout. Give it up to Marshany Call. Hall dribbles through the traffic, and Marshany Call with the layup. 38-17, 38-17, 4-0 run for Armio. And away from the basketball, we've got a foul. Foul's on number 40. Foul is on Sade Ware. First personal. Just the second team foul. I will let him know. Rams will inbound underneath their own bucket following the foul. Give to Holloway. Holloway with the layup assist from Unique Coleman. Holloway. 40 to 17. Rams with press. Dribbling through it or trying to dribble through it. Deja Daniels. Daniels at the other end. Finally makes it all the way to the bucket. Misses the layup. And then a foul on the rebound. Fouls on number 32. Unique Coleman. Fouls on Unique Coleman. Second personal, ninth team foul. And shooting a one-on-one will be Sade Ware. Ware averaging 4.6 points per game. Free throw up, no good off the back of the iron. Rebound taken by Holloway for St. Mary's. Moore getting it across to Ship. Ship terminates her dribble, finally gets it back to Moore. Moore penetrates, kicks it out to Ship. Ship for three from the side, in and out, heartbreak. Rebound taken by Sade Ware. Ware gives it up to Deja Daniels. Daniels steals Ship. Ship gives it down low to Holloway. Holloway with the easy chippy layup. 42 17. Over the top, pass to Sade Ware. Ware has it stripped from behind by Maria Lauren Ramos. And it'll be Armio basketball, but a great hustle play by Maria Lauren Ramos tipping that layup away. Into the lane to Sade Ware. Ware for the easy bucket assist from Marcini Call. 42-19. Rams up by 23. 4.34 left to go first half. Into the corner for Tudor. Tudor penetrating. Tudor floater from 10, no good. Holloway with the rebound low, down low. Put back number one, no good. Put back number two. Holloway All it good. 
Holloway missed the first put back, but she gets the second. 46-19. Or 44-19, check that. At the other end, Deja Daniels gives it up to Sade Ware. Ware with the easy layup assist for Daniels. 44-21, four minutes left to go in the half. Ball given up to Ship. Ship has it deflected and blocked. Her layup was blocked by Sade Ware. And St. Mary's will maintain possession. Natalie Delgado going to replace Ship. And Angel Johnson going to replace Holloway. 44-21, 3.58 left to go, first half. St. Mary's will inbound underneath their own basket. Into the paint to Johnson. Over to Moore. Moore for three from the side. And she gets it to go. Rattles it home. 47-21. Rams with pressure. Over the top pass, complete to Sims. Sims gives it up to Malaya Gaines, and Gaines travels. Malaya Gaines was harassed there by Cat Tudor. And it's a turnover. Sianna Sousao seeing her first action, the 5'8 sophomore. Replacing Maria Lauren Ramos. Rams up 47-21. 3.40 left to go first half. Moore with the basketball. Loses the handle. Delgado gets it back for St. Mary's. Has it tipped. Gives it up to Sao Sao. Moore, top of the key. Penetrates into the lane and gets fouled. See who the foul is on here. Take it out. Foul is called by on Janice Robinson Croon. First personal. Third team foul. Cat Tudor will inbound underneath. Give to Tudor. Tudor give and go. Three pointer on the way from the whip side. No good. Rebound by Moore. Moore thinks about the three pointer. Penetrates instead and gets fouled in the paint. Bree Moore comes up limping slightly after that one. Hopefully just the Charlie horse. Foul is called on Marshany Call, second personal, fourth team foul, and Bree Moore will go to the line shooting two. Moore's free throw up, no good off the front of the iron, and she is not looking good. Moore misses the first free throw. Second free throw, good. 48-21. Rams come out in the full court press. Marshany call over the top. Marshany call penetrates. Marshany call reverse layup, no good. Rebound by Angel Johnson. Moore over to Delgado to Tudor. To Delgado in the corner for three. Delgado no good. Battle for the rebound. And we'll see the call here. Fouls on Janice Robinson Croon. Second personal, 15 foul. St. Mary's inbound underneath their own bucket. Unique Coleman will substitute in for Angel Johnson. Moore gets it to Coleman. Over to Sao Sao. Sao Sao gives it to Coleman. Coleman knifes for the layup. Assist Sao Sao. 50 to 21. Rams with the lead, 2.40 left to go first half. Full court press by St. Mary's over the top to Malaya Gaines. Gaines goes to the bucket and makes the layup. Malaya Gaines catches the over the top pass, takes it all the way. Long pass to Sao Sao at the other end, and she manages to lose the handle on it. Steal by Armio. Indians, Ware gives it up to Marshney Hall. Hall double team. She loses the handle. Tudor comes up for the Rams. Tudor. Gives it to Sao Sao into the corner for Delgado. Delgado for three. No good. Tipped out of bounds by Tudor. And it'll be Armio basketball. Out of bounds, Armio. Therese Holloway substituting into the game for St. Mary's. Replacing Sao Sao. Carissa Ship coming back in. Replacing Delgado. Ram lineup. Ship. Lauren Ramos. Coleman. Moore and Holloway. Moore going for the steal. Instead, Malaya Gaines comes up with it for Armio. 
gives it to the cutter. And the cutter, number three, Kiana Sims, tried to pass it down low, and Armio loses the handle. And they say it goes off St. Mary's. So Armio will maintain possession. 158 in the quarter. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Into Malaya Gaines. Gaines gives it up to Marchini. Call. Hall, double team. Rams shaking their hands. Hall throws it up cross court to Sims who loses the handle. Ultimately, battle at the other end. Ship maintains it. Ship with a two on two opportunity. Fires up a three instead and it's an air ball. A rebound by Laura Lawson. Armio with the basketball. Marchini call, penetrates. Loses the handle, tries to get it down low to Lawson. Lawson finally hangs on to it. Lawson's desperation pass picked off by Coleman. Coleman gives it up to Moore. Moore on the break, gives it up to Holloway. Holloway misses the chippy from the side. Gets her own rebound, put back, and misses that one, but draws a foul. Constant motion by St. Mary's. Justice Robinson Kroon with her first personal. Six-team foul on Armio. And that will send Sharice Holloway to the line, shooting two. First free throw up. It's good. 51-23, St. Mary's. 117 left to go. First half. Angel Johnson into the game, replacing Maria Lauren Ramos. Second free throw. No good off the iron. Laura Lawson with the rebound. And it's stolen at the other end by Coleman, and Coleman gets fouled on her way to the bucket. Foul is called on Janice Robinson Kroon, third personal, seventh team foul. Cat Tudor comes into the game, replacing Bree Moore. And for Dulce Armas, seeing her first action for Armio, replacing Janice Robinson Kroon. One on one for Unique Coleman here. Free throw up, good. 52 23. 112 left to go, first half here. Live from the Spano Center on the campus of the University of the Pacific, Sac Joaquin section, Division I semifinals. Second free throw. No good off the back of the iron. Battle for the rebound, and I think we're going to have a rebounding foul on St. Mary's. Foul is called on Angel Johnson. Second personal, 10th team foul. So that'll put Armio in the double bonus with 111 left to go here in the first half. St. Mary's, 52, Armio, 23. Laura Lawson at the line, going to shoot two. Lawson's first free throw, good. 52-24. St. Mary's leading Armio, 111 left to go, first half. Second free throw, in and out, heartbreak. And ball goes off Armio, and St. Mary's will get possession. 52-24, 109 left to go. First half. 2-3 zone for Armio. Coleman gives it up to Tudor. Tudor loses the handle. Cat gets it back. Gives it up to Moore. Moore penetrates. Moore gives it up to Holloway. Holloway misses the layup. Holloway gets the rebound. Kicks it out to Coleman. Coleman for three. No good. Moore with the rebound. Moore is put back. No good. Battle for the rebound. Finally, Armio gets possession. Lawson over the top to Armis. Armis is passed. Deflected and stolen by Tudor. Coleman at the other end gave up her dribble. Gives it up to Moore. Moore, spin move on her way to the bucket. And they say she traveled. And Bree Moore not agreeing with the call. Ball out of bounds, Armio. 52-24. Armio basketball, 27 and a half seconds left. 
Over the top pass to Gaines. Gaines going for the layup, and Gaines misses the layup. Lawson's put back is blocked by Schiff. Lawson gets back the put back at midcourt. Her pass is stolen by Moore for St. Mary's. Bree with the basketball. 10 seconds left in the half, 52-24. Rams probably gonna go for last shot here. Moore penetrates, throws up a floater from six, no good. Battle on the floor for the basketball. Moore comes up with it, and that's the end of the half. Halftime here from the University of the Pacific. St. Mary's 52, Armio 24. You are listening to the CIF Sac Joaquin section, Division I girls basketball semifinals here on playonsports.com and CIF Sac Joaquin TV. Rams up 52 to 24. Let's look at what else is happening in the uh, Sac Joaquin section tonight in the various divisions and uh, what's going on in all the playoffs action that's taken place this week on the girls' side of the leisure as we uh, look ahead in Division I tonight. St. Mary's Armio, and we know that game is 52 to 24 at the half. At 7.30 tonight, the other Division I semifinal, the winner of this game, which is likely to be St. Mary's, will take on the winner of Oak Ridge and Kennedy in the other semifinal. In Division II tonight at 5.30, it'll be the number one seed, the Sacramento Dragons, taking on Del Oro. And at 9 o'clock tonight, the number two seed, the runner-up in the Tri-City Athletic League, the McNair Eagles, taking on Florin. Those are your matchups here at Spano Center tonight in the University of the Pacific. In the other divisions, in Division Three, the final matchup is set. It'll be Friday night at 7.30 at the Sleep Train Arena, and it'll be the number one seed, Christian Brothers, taking on the number two seed, Vanden of Fairfield. And again, that'll be Friday night at 7.30 at the Sleep Train Arena in Sacramento, Christian Brothers versus Vanden for the Division Three Girls Basketball Championship. In Division Four, the matchup is already set, and that'll be your opener on Saturday afternoon at 11.30 a.m. Saturday afternoon, 11.30 a.m., it'll be Bear River taking on Bradshaw Christian in the Division Four Girls Basketball Championship. In Division Five, that'll be the opener Friday night. Friday night, March 1st, at the Sleep Train Arena, it'll be Brookside Christian taking on Capital Christian and that game will be at the Sleep Train Arena. And tonight in Division VI, we're going to have our first section champion crowned. It'll be 6 o'clock tonight, Victory Christian taking on Valley Christian, and that game is at 6 o'clock tonight, and that will be for the Division VI Girls Basketball Championship. St. Mary's High School would like to thank the following sponsors of St. Mary's Rams Basketball who helped make these games possible here on PlayOnSports.com, Chase Chevrolet. The Bank of Stockton, Berberian Motors, New York Life, Corto Olive Oil, McDonald's, the Pacheco and Samara Law Group. PlayOnSports.com and CIF Sac Joaquin TV will have all the action of the CIF Sac Joaquin Section Championships live from the Sleep Train Arena in Sacramento. Friday night, the action begins at 4 p.m. with the Division V Girls Championship, Brookside Christian versus Capital Christian, and Saturday, the action begins at 11.30 a.m. with Division IV girls, Bear River taking on Bradshaw Christian. The girls' D1 championship game, that's Saturday night at 6.30 on these same websites with St. Mary's Armio winner taking on the Kennedy Oak Ridge winner. Again, Saturday night, 6.30, live from Sleep Train Arena. It's the girls' Division I section championship matchup, and you can hear it here on playonsports.com and CIF Sac Joaquin TV. From the development office of St. Mary's High School, save Saturday, May 11th from noon to 5 p.m. for the fourth annual Olive Oil Festival. Fun for the entire family. More information on this event may be obtained from the development office of St. Mary's High School. The number there is 209 area code 957-3340 extension 180. We have some halftime statistics. Leading scorers, first of all, for St. Mary's. It is Sharice Holloway. Holloway, 7 of 12 from the field, 1 for 1 from the three-point arc, 3 out of 4 from the line for 18 points. 
Second leading scorer, Unique Coleman, four for 10 from the field, two for four from the arc, one for two from the charity stripe for 11 points. Cat Tudor, three for six from the field, three out of four from three point land, nine points. And then rounding out the scoring for St. Mary's, Bree Moore with six, and Carissa Ship with four, and Angel Johnson with four. Leading rebounders for St. Mary's, leading rebounder in the first half, Bree Moore with six, Sharice Holloway with five. For the Army O Indians, leading scorer in the first half, Malaya Gaines, four for seven from the field, one for two from the charity stripe for nine points. Second leading scorer, Sade Ware, three for three from the field, all layups for six points. And then rounding out the scoring for Armio, it is Laura Lawson with five. And Deja Daniels with two, Marshani Call with two. Leading rebounder for Armio, Laura Lawson with nine in the first half. Four apiece for Marshani Call and Malaya Gaines. Shooting statistics for St. Mary's, 20 for 45 from the field, 44%. From the arc, seven for 16, 44%. From the charity stripe, St. Mary's, five out of eight, 63% from the line. For the Army O Indians in the first half, 11 for 28 from the field, 39%. 0 for four from the arc for 0%. Two for nine from the line, 22%. And when you look at St. Mary's, any game they play, here's the number your eye always should drift to. That's the turnover stat and turnovers in the first half. Armio with 21, St. Mary's with nine, and that's about the pace. St. Mary's hopes to force at least 40 turnovers in any close game, and that's the key to their attack, and it's 52-24 at the half. St. Mary's with the lead over Armio. We'll be back with more action shortly here on PlayOnSports.com. And we're back 52 to 24 at the half. St. Mary's with the lead. St. Mary's led this one 31-13 at the break. And then in the second quarter, 21 to 11, elongating their lead to 51 or 52 to 24. Rebounding story. Armio leads in that category 26-24 against the diminutive Rams. But again, the key story as always turnovers. Turnovers, 21 for Armijo, 9 for St. Mary's. Rams were red hot at the end of the first quarter. They were 5 for 6 from the arc. Cooled down to 7 for 16 at the half. And St. Mary's 12 for 22 in the first quarter. And that cooled off to 20 out of 45 for 44%. Armijo, the stats that jump off the page, as we said, the 21 turnovers. 22% from the line, uh, that's not going to help. And then just 39% from the field, the one encouraging number, the winning the rebounding battle, 26-24, but the Rams are definitely ahead in the war, 52-24 is our score at the half. Again, leading scores for the two teams. For St. Mary's, Sharice Holloway with 18, Unique Coleman with 11, Cat Tudor with 9. For the Army O Indians, Malaya Gaines with 9. Uh, followed by Sade Ware with six, Lawson with five, and then two apiece for Daniels and Hall. 
So St. Mary's 52, Army O 24 at the half here, Spanos Center, Division I section semifinals, St. Mary's taking on Army O. And a reminder, folks, as we said, PlayOnSports.com and CIF Sac Joaquin TV will have all the action of the CIF Sac Joaquin section championships live from the Sleep Train Arena in Sacramento. Friday night, the action begins at 4 p.m. with the Division Five Girls Championship game, Brookside Christian versus Capital Christian. And Saturday, the action begins at 11.30 a.m. with Division Four Bear River taking on Bradshaw Christian. The girls' D1 championship game, which is who the winner of this game is going to take on, St. Mary's Army O. That's Saturday night at 6.30, and they will take on the winner of Kennedy Oak Ridge. Again, Saturday night, 6.30, live from the Sleep Train Arena in Sacramento. It's the girls' Division I section championship matchup here on PlayOnSports.com and CIF Sac Joaquin TV. For St. Mary's, the original starters are going to start the second half, and that is Kat Tudor, Bree Moore, Maria Lauren Ramos, Unique Coleman, and Cherise Holloway. For Armio, it'll be Justice Robinson Croon, Deja Daniels, Marshany Call, Malaya Gaines, and Laura Lawson. Into Laura Lawson. Lawson with the chippy layup from three. 52 26. Rams up by 26 with the basketball. Into the Holloway. Holloway in the block. Makes a pump move and blows away her defender for an easy five foot jumper. 54 26. 20 for Holloway. Long pass deflected and stolen by Bree Moore from Lawson. Bree Moore in the open floor. Trying to create on the break. Gives it down low to Holloway. Holloway with the easy layup. Assist for Bree Moore. 56-26. Rams up by 30. Over the top to Deja Daniels. Daniels in traffic. Drives through the lane and gets a layup. Basket by Daniels. And a timeout on the floor. Layup for Deja Daniels. And timeout. 7-10 left to go third quarter. St. Mary's 56, Army O 28. You are listening to St. Mary's Rams basketball here on playonsports.com. From the development office of St. Mary's High School, save Saturday, May 11th, from noon to 5 p.m. for the fourth annual Olive Oil Festival. Fun for the entire family. More information on this event may be obtained from the development office. The number there is 209, area code 957-3340, extension 180. Rams up 56-28 over Armio. 7-10 left to go, third quarter. Moore over the top pass to Tudor. Tudor for three. Eyes it, tries it, and buys it. 59-28. Rams with the full court pressure. Ball deflected, stolen by Holloway. Holloway goes up strong, throws up a shot in desperation in the lane. Doesn't draw iron, but draws a foul. Foul is called on Justice Robinson Kroon. Second personal, first team foul. And that will send Holloway to the line, shooting two. Holloway's first free throw, no good. Or check that, it's Unique Coleman at the line. Misses the first free throw. Second free throw, no good. Battle for the rebound. Bree Moore comes up with it for the Rams. Moore. Sends it out to Lauren Ramos and back to Moore, resetting the attack. Kickback. Moore gives it up to Coleman. Coleman knifes her way to the bucket and makes the layup. 61-28, Rams up by 33. Into Malaya Gaines. Gaines now dribbles into the double team. Gives it up to Hall. Hall's bounce pass beats the press. Into the corner, three-pointer on the way. No good by Kiana Sims, but she draws the foul. And the foul is called on Maria Lauren Ramos. Third personal, first team foul. And being that it was a three-pointer, Kiana Sims will shoot three here. Kiana Sims at the line, shooting three. First free throw up, no good. Two for 10 from the line for Armio. Among their troubles tonight, the free throw line. Second free throw, again no good. Two for 11 and counting. 
Carissa Ship into the game for St. Mary's, replacing Maria Lauren Ramos. Kiana Sims trying to make one out of three and does. 61-29, Rams up by 32. 618, Moore dribbles into the corner for Tudor. Tudor sends it back out to Coleman. Coleman creates, beats her opponent, misses the layup. Rebound by Malaya Gaines. Gaines in traffic, gets it into the corner for Sims. Sims now trying to dribble through it, got away with a carry. Into the corner, three-pointer on the way. No good by Justice Robinson Kroon. Long rebound taken by Holloway. Holloway with a one-on-two break. Goes up strong, misses the layup. Coleman with the rebound, put back bucket. Unique Coleman with the bucket. 63-29, Rams with pressure. Justice Robinson Kroon breaks the press from the side. Dribbles in traffic, gives it up to Malaya. Gaines for the easy layup. Assist for Justice Robinson Kroon. Tudor at the other end. Sends it top of the key to Moore. Bree, long distance three-pointer, no good, in and out, heartbreak. Rebound by Marshany Call for Armio. Hall trying to go coast to coast. Throws up a floater from 10, banks it off the glass. Marshany Call with the bucket. And Armio cuts it to 30, 63-33. 5.05 left to go, third period. Coleman with the basketball. Over to Moore. Moore three-pointer on the way. No. Long rebound. Moore tips it. Gets it over to Holloway. And Holloway showed a little bit of indecision in the paint. And she travels. And it'll be a turnover. Natalie Delgado into the game. Sharice Holloway going to take a seat. Angel Johnson back into the game for St. Mary's. Pressure by the Rams on the press, as always. Over the top. Completed to Robinson Kroon, who loses the handle. Coming up with it is Deja Daniels. Daniels trying to go baseline. Daniels bounce pass into the paint to Gaines. Gaines kicks it out. Three-pointer on the way. And bank shot, Martiany call. 63-36 with the banker. Download Angel Johnson. Johnson back out to Delgado. Moore thinks about the three-pointer, penetrates instead, and Moore beats the Armio defense, misses the layup, but draws the foul. Bree Moore with a nice first step. Blew past the defender. Foul is on Marshany Call, third personal. Second team foul. At the line, shooting two, Bree Moore. First free throw up, gets the shooter's bounce. 64-36. 4.19 left to go. Third quarter. Second free throw, also good. 65-36. Rams up by 29. 4.18 left to go. Rams with the press. And it's stolen by Ship. Ship gets it to Johnson. Johnson with a spin move and a layup. Angel Johnson with a sweet, sweet move. Spin move for the layup. Marshany Call dribbling through the St. Mary's press. Now she's double teamed, has it deflected, stolen by Coleman. Coleman with a two on none break, gives it to Delgado. Delgado misses the layup. Foul is called on Unique Coleman. Third personal, second team foul. Natalie Delgado gonna come out. Maria Lauren Ramos gonna come in. Cat Tudor back into the game for St. Mary's. Replacing Unique Coleman. 67-36. 3.52 left to go, third quarter. Marshany call with the basketball. Over the top pass complete to Robinson Kroon. And Robinson Kroon misses. Robinson Kroon gets the rebound put back. Shot deflected. Goes out to Malaya Gaines. Gaines gives it up to Hall. Hall down low to Laura Lawson. Lawson misses the layup but draws the foul. Fouls on Bree Moore, third personal. Third team foul, three Rams with three fouls apiece. Bree Moore, Maria Lauren Ramos, and Unique Coleman. And Laura Lawson, or excuse me, Sade Ware will go to the line shooting two. First free throw good. First one's good. 
Sade Ware, who drew the foul down low, makes the first free throw. 67-37, 3.35 left to go. Second free throw also good. 67-38. Carissa Ship with the basketball. Gets it down low to Johnson. Johnson kicks it out to Moore. Moore thought about the three-pointer, hesitated, and the ball stolen by Ware, and then stolen back by Moore. Moore has it deflected, goes out to Ship. Back to Moore. Moore thinks about the three, penetrates instead. Ball is stolen, though, at the other end by Malaya Gaines. Gaines has it tipped and stolen by Lauren Ramos. And it's getting a little sloppy. Cat Tudor picks up the deflection and eyes it and tries it and buys it a three-pointer. 70-38, 2.52 left to go in the third quarter. Martiany call at the other end. Throws up a shot in traffic, misses the shot, but Drew the foul. Marshany call threw up about a 12-foot jumper from the side in traffic. Missed it, but drew the foul. Foul is on Angel Johnson. Third personal. Fourth team foul on the Rams. And Marshany get the hall line. Marshany call makes the first free throw. Hall averaging 11.1 points per game on the year. Unique Coleman into the game for St. Mary's. Along with Maria Lauren Ramos. 70-39. Second free throw also good. 70 to 40. 251 left to go. Third quarter. Into the corner for Holloway. Holloway thought about the three-pointer. Penetrates instead. Misses the layup. Rebound by Sade Ware. Ware double teamed in the backcourt. Manages to get it up to Robinson Crone. Over the top to Marshany Call. Halls. Ball is deflected into the corner to Sims. Hall down low. Gets it into the paint to Gaines. Gaines 10-footer block. Shot a wear. Rebound put back bucket for Armio. 70-42. Down low to Johnson. Johnson being harassed. And timeout. St. Mary's. 209 left to go. Third quarter, 19 seconds on the shot clock. 209 left in the quarter. Your score, St. Mary's 70, Army 042. You are listening to the CIF Sac Joaquin section, Division I section semifinals here on playonsports.com. St. Mary's High School would like to thank the following sponsors of St. Mary's Rams basketball who helped make these games possible here on playonsports.com. Chase Chevrolet, the Bank of Stockton, Berberian Motors, New York Life, Porto Olive Oil, McDonald's, and the Pacheco and Samara Law Group. Good friends to St. Mary's Rams Athletics. They've been there all here for the all year here for the Rams. St. Mary's will inbound underneath their own bucket. 70 to 42, third quarter even. Rams were up by 28 at the half, and they're up by 28 now. Into Coleman, Coleman to Holloway. Holloway, and Holloway draws the foul in the low block right by the bucket. Fouls on Sade Ware. Second personal, third team foul. And that will send Holloway to the line shooting two. First free throw up, air ball to the side, no good. Into the game for St. Mary's, Sydney Fadal seeing her first action tonight. Second free throw for Holloway, good. 71-42. The Rams with full court pressure, as always. Into Sims. Sims double team to Hall. Hall trying to dribble through the traffic and does. Hall gives it up down low to Sade Ware. Assist, or a bucket for Ware. Assist for Marshany Hall. 71-44. Coleman with the basketball. Penetrates. Misses the shot from the side on the floater. Over to Marshany Hall. Hall. Over the top to Sims. Sims gets it into Ware, and then it's stolen by Lauren Ramos for the Rams. Lauren Ramos being double teamed in the backcourt. 
And a scramble on the floor. Got to see what they call here. So the ball was out of bounds. That scramble for the ball on the floor and Shade Ware was out of bounds touching the basketball. Game getting a little bit sloppy here. 125 left to go third quarter. St. Mary's up by 27, 71-44. Bree Moore back into the game for St. Mary's to set their attack. She is the quarterback for this attack, especially since Anome Gemma Rigby currently injured for the Rams. Moore penetrates. She's in the paint. Spin move down low to Holloway. Holloway loses the handle. Sims with the steal for Armio. Sims gives it up to Robinson Crone. Robinson Crone has her shot deflected. Off the deflection, Cap Tudor with the rebound. Coleman with the basketball, inside a minute to play. Holloway for three at the other end, no good off the back of the iron. Rebound taken by Gaines. Gaines gives it up to Hall. Hall thought about the pass and instead drew the foul. Foul is called on Bree Moore. Fourth personal, fifth team foul on the Rams. And Armio inbounds. Sims for three from the wing. No good off the back of the iron. Tudor with the rebound for St. Mary's. Two on one break for the Rams. Moore gives it up to Holloway. Who makes the layup? Assist Bree Moore. Basket Sharice Holloway. 73-44. 30 seconds left to play in the quarter. Rams up by 29. Rams with pressure. Long distance three-pointer by Hall. Air ball. Drawing nothing. Rebound put back, deflected by Fadal. Rebound goes to Moore, and then Moore travels on the pass. Bad. 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 And Moore will exit the game with four personals. Carissa Ship coming into the game. Warning issued to the coach of St. Mary's. Inbound into the corner. Martiany call. Hall trying to take it to the bucket. Misses the shot, but draws the foul with 11 and a half seconds left to go here in the third. Fouls on Holloway, first second personal. Fouls on Sharice Holloway, second personal, sixth team foul. And that'll send Martiany call to the line, shooting two. First free throw up, rattles at home, 73-45. 11.5 seconds left to go, third quarter. St. Mary's with the lead over Armio, second free throw. No good off the back of the iron. Cap Tudor with the rebound for St. Mary's. Gives it up to Coleman, seven seconds. Gives it up to Tudor. Tudor penetrates, Tudor gets fouled on her way to the bucket. 2.1 seconds left to go. Foul's called on Sade Ware, third personal, fourth team foul. That'll send Cat Tudor to the line, shooting two. Tudor's first free throw comes home, 74-45. Sharice Holloway going to take a seat. Angel Johnson going to see these last 2.1 seconds. Second free throw. It's good, 75-45. Inbound for Armio, and that should be it. That's the end of the third quarter here from Spanos Center on the campus of the University of the Pacific. It's the St. Mary's Rams 75 and the Armio Indians 45. You are listening to the CIF Sac Joaquin section, Division 1 semifinals here on playonsports.com. A reminder, folks, we're going to have all the action here on PlayOnSports.com. It'll be the Sac Joaquin Section Championships live from the Sleep Train Arena in Sacramento. Friday night, the action begins at 4 p.m. with the Division 5 Girls Championship, Brookside Christian versus Capital Christian, and Saturday morning, the action begins at 11.30 a.m. with Division 4 Girls, Bear River taking on Bradshaw Christian. The Girls D1 Championship game is Saturday at 6.30 on these same websites it will be the St. Mary's Armio winner taking on the Kennedy Oak Ridge winner. Again, Saturday night, 6.30, live from the Sleep Train Arena. It's the girls' Division I section championship matchup 
here on PlayOnSports.com and CIFSacJoaquin.tv. And again, we've got the stats now at the end of the third quarter, one of the beauties of doing these games from these professional sites, University of the Pacific. 28-14 turnover story, shooting story for the two teams. Armio up to 42%, St. Mary's with 46%. Armio one for eight from the arc, St. Mary's nine for 21. Free throw story also equal turnover for or a ball is deflected out of bounds. St. Mary's will maintain possession. Leading scorers right now for St. Mary's, Sharice Holloway with 25, Cat Tudor with 17, Unique Coleman with 15. For Armio, Shade Ware with 12, Malaya Gaines with 11, and Marshani Call with 10. Lauren Ramos with the basketball, kicks it into the corner for Coleman. Coleman thought about the three, penetrates instead, gives it up to Johnson. Out to ship, ship for three, no good from the side. Tudor's rebound put back, no good, but she draws the foul. Foul is called on Marshany Call, fourth personal, fifth team foul. That'll send Cat Tudor to the line. Tudor shooting two, first free throw, good. 76-45, 7.40 left to go in the game. Rams up by 31. Second free throw, also good. 77-45. Lauren Ramos deflects the basketball out of bounds. And Armio will maintain possession. Indians with the basketball. Justice Robinson Croon looking for someone. Finally get up to Marshany Call who's double teamed. Deja Daniels with the double team into the corner. Justice Robinson Croon for three, air ball, no good. A rebound battled for on the floor and we're gonna have a jump, jump ball. ball. Possession arrow. And on the possession arrow, Armio will maintain possession. 18 seconds on the shot clock, 7.27 left to go in the game. St. Mary's 77, Armio 45. Over the top pass, finally saved by Armio, but it's an backcourt violation. St. Mary's will inbound just across midcourt, 77-45. In a Tudor for the corner, Tudor for three. Cat eyes it, tries it, and buys Tudor it. With another three. 80 to 45, Rams up by 35. Long cross court pass. Throwing up a shot in traffic. Robinson Croon, Deanna, no good. Rebound by Shade Ware. Ware's put back, no good. Ware with another put back, and this time she makes it and draws the foul. Shade Ware with the bucket and the foul. Fouls on number 33, Johnson, her fourth personal. Fouls on Angel Johnson, fourth 17 personal, 17 foul. Ware will be at the line shooting one. And Shade Ware at the line shooting one, 80 to 47. Free throw up, no good off the side, rebound by Holloway. 80 to 47, ship with a two on two opportunity. Sends it out to Lauren Ramos, into the corner. Three-pointer on the way for Delgado, in and out, heartbreak. Rebound by Holloway, Holloway's put back, no good. Rebound taken by Deja Daniels. Daniels harassed, loses the handle. Battle on the floor. And see what the call is, Armio calls timeout. 6.41 left to go in this one, St. Mary's 80. Armio 47, you are listening to the CIF Sac Joaquin Section Division I Girls Semifinals here on PlayOnSports.com, and it's St. Mary's 80, Armio 47. A reminder, St. Mary's High School would like to thank the following sponsors of St. Mary's Rams basketball who helped make these games possible here on PlayOnSports.com. Chase Chevrolet, the Bank of Stockton, Berberian Motors, New York Life, Porto Olive Oil, 
McDonald's, and the Pacheco and Samara Law Group. Checking into the game for St. Mary's out of the timeout, Sienna Sausau sees her second action of the night. 80 to 47, 641 left to go in this game. Winner advances to the Sac Joaquin section championship game to take on the winner of the winner of Kennedy Oak Ridge Saturday night at 6:30. Rams in their press, coming out of the timeout. Armio basketball, following the Armio timeout. Malaya Gaines loses the handle. Stolen by Coleman. Coleman trying to go for the layup, misses the shot. Rebound taken by Malaya Gaines. Gaines in traffic, gives it up to Marshani Hall. Hall dribbling through. Hall throws up the layup, and she split the defense for the layup. Marshani Hall with a nice move. 80 to 49, Rams up by 31. Coleman, three pointer on the way, no good off the back of the iron. Rebound taken by Shade Ware. Deja Daniels gets hassled in the backcourt and forcing a jump ball is Unique Coleman. And it'll be a turnover. St. Mary's with the arrow. Sydney Fadal and Bree Moore checking back into the game for St. Mary's. Bree Moore running the attack. Moore gives it up to Fadal, top of the key. Fadal kicks it out to Delgado. Delgado for three, in and out, heartbreak. Rebound taken by Malaya Gaines. Gaines now has her dribble stopped. Daniels over the top to Marshani Hall. Hall, three on two break. Hall goes all the way to the bucket and makes the layup. Marshani Hall with the basket. 80 to 51. 5.30, two left to go in the game. And Holloway catches the ball at the arc and then stutter steps and travels. Turnover for Sharice Holloway. Over the top, inbounded to Hall. Hall deflected by Delgado. And Armio will maintain possession. 5.29 left to go in the game. St. Mary's 80, Armio 51. Deja Daniels set to inbound for Armio. Gets it in the hall. Hall over the top to Robinson Crone who loses the handle. And the ball goes out of bounds off of Janice Robinson Crone. Turnover for Armio. St. Mary's basketball. 80 to 51. Delgado. Penetrates, gives it up to Holloway. Holloway for three. Eyes it, tries it, and buys it. 83-51, Rams up by 32. With pressure in the backcourt. Marshani Call dribbles through the pressure. Trying to go coast to coast for the layup and does. Marshani Call with a running layup in traffic. 83-53, Rams up by 30. 450 left to go in the game. Backdoor pass, tip intercepted by Armio. Deja Daniels with a two-on-two -two break. Loses the handle on the basketball. And it's a turnover for Deja Daniels. Rams ball. Coming into the game for Armio. Dulce Armas for St. Mary's Cat Tudor. 83-53, 4.42 left to go in this one. Rams up by 30. Delgado penetrates, gives it down low to Fadal. Basket for Fadal. Assist for Delgado. 85-53 at the other end. Marshani Call dribbling, trying to go baseline. Gives it up to Armas. Armas back to Daniels. Daniels now near the timeline, penetrates. Daniels floater from six, no good. Battle for the rebound. Finally controlled by Delgado near midcourt. Three on one break for the Rams, and Delgado throws it away. 
Tried to hit Sao Sao on the wing. It's a turnover for Delgado. Carissa Ship into the game for St. Mary's. Angel Johnson into the game. 85-53. Inbound pass deflected by Delgado. Stolen by Johnson. Out to Tudor. Tudor for three. She eyes it, tries it, and buys it. 88-53. Rams with the full court pressure still. 3.50 left to go in the game. Armas with the basketball. Goes backcourt. Dual say Armas caught the ball across midcourt. Took it to the backcourt. Backcourt violation. Turnover on Armio. Substitution for St. Mary's. Ashley Moore seeing her first action of the night for the Rams. 88-53. 3.45 left to go in the game. Tudor gives it up to Holloway. Holloway for three. Holloway eyes it, tries it, and buys it. 91-53. Rams with pressure. Into the corner for Sims. Sims three-pointer on the way. No good. Battle for the rebound. Shade Ware gets it. Kicks it down low to Malaya. Gaines. Gaines with the bucket. 91-55. Tudor kicks it to Holloway. Holloway thinks about the three. Penetrates instead. And Holloway draws the foul in the lane. Fouls on Malaya Gaines, first personal, six-team foul, and that will send Sharice Holloway at the line, shooting two. First free throw up, no good off the front of the iron. Second free throw, good. 92-55. 92 52-55. 3.05 left to go in the game. Rams up comfortably by 37. Deja Daniel sends it to Sims. Into the corner for Hall. Hall dribbles it back out to the arc. Hall tries to throw a pass down low to Gaines, and it's another turnover. Substitutions for Armio. Jane Garlington coming into the game for the Indians for St. Mary's. Siana Sousao and Delgado into the game. 92-55, 2.49 left to go in the game. Delgado with the basketball. Gives it down low to Ashley Moore. Moore shot blocked out of bounds. Delgado will inbound for the Rams. Into Fidal. Back out to Sao Sao. Into the high post to Johnson. And Johnson travels on her way to the basket from the high post. 92-55. And the Rams will take off the press with 2.33 left to go in the game. Daniels gives it up to Marchini Call. Hall into the corner for Sims. Sims for three. And she gets it. Kiana Sims eyes it, tries it, and buys it. 92-58. Rams up by 34. Angel Johnson with the basketball, penetrates, spin move, misses the shot in tight. Fadal, rebound, put back, bucket. Basket by Fadal. 94-58. Get out of the court, City. Floater in the lane by Hall, no good. Long rebound battle for Hall, comes up with it, kicks it out to Sims. Sims for three, partially blocked, back out to Hall, and Hall gets fouled right in the charity strike. Foul will be on Natalie Delgado. Second personal, eighth team foul. And that will send Marchini Call to the line shooting one on one. First free throw up, it's good. 
94-59. Substitution for Armio. Number 13, Tiffany Mestas, sees her first action of the night. Second free throw, no good off the front of the iron. Battle for the rebound. Coming up with it is Marshany Call on the deflection. Into the low block, deflected, and stolen by Sidney Fidal. Fidal gives it up to Delgado. Into the corner for Moore. Back to Johnson, into the post for Sims. Three-pointer on the way for Ashley Moore, no good. Rebound put back, no good by Johnson. Johnson kicks it out to Moore. Moore, top of the key three, no good off the iron. Rebound taken by Marshany Call. And Hall in traffic, gives it up to Gaines. Gaines penetrates the defense for the layup. Basket by Gaines. Gaines caught that ball at the free throw line and took it the remaining distance for the layup. 94-61, one minute left to play in this one. Delgado kicks it into the corner for Sousao. Sousao for three, in and out, heartbreak. Rebound by Gaines. Gaines gives it up to Hall. Inside a minute to play. Into the corner, deflected, and finally goes back to Hall. Hall tries to get it down low to Gaines, and instead it goes off Angel Johnson on the deflection. Armiol maintained possession. 41 seconds left to go in the game, 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Substitution for Armio. Number 11, Lauren Williams seeing her first action tonight. Marshney call, looking, looking, gets it into Williams, and it goes off of Johnson, and Armio will maintain possession now from the baseline underneath the bucket. Looking, looking, finally getting it in. Pat shot is deflected. Coming out, Mestas. Into the corner for number 10, Williams. Williams back out to Hall. And the shot clock goes off. Shot clock violation. Shot clock violation on Armio. 24.7 seconds left to go in this one. 94-61. Rams with the lead. Delgado content to dribble out the clock here. Giving it up to Johnson, five seconds left. Rams just gonna dribble this one out. Final score here from the Spano Center of the University of the Pacific. It is St. Mary's 94, Armio 61. So the St. Mary's Rams will await the 7.30 semifinal here as Kennedy will take on Oak Ridge. Winner of that will take on the Rams Saturday night, 6.30 at Arco Arena. St. Mary's will take on the winner of Kennedy Oak Ridge in the Sac Joaquin section. Division I championship game. Once again, a reminder, Play On Sports and CIF Sac Joaquin TV will have all the action of the CIF Sac Joaquin section championships live from the Sleep Train Arena in Sacramento. Friday night, the action begins at 4 p.m. with the Division V girls championship matchup, Brookside Christian versus Capital Christian. And Saturday, the action begins at 11.30 a.m. with Division IV girls basketball, Bear River taking on Bradshaw Christian. The girls' D1 championship game is Saturday at 6.30 on these same websites with St. Mary's taking on the Kennedy Oak Ridge winner. Again, Saturday night, 6.30, live from the Sleep Train Arena. It's the girls' Division I section championship matchup here on playonsports.com and CIF Sac Joaquin TV. St. Mary's High School would like to thank the following sponsors of St. Mary's Rams basketball who helped make these games possible here on PlayOnSports.com. Chase Chevrolet, The Bank of Stockton, Berberian Motors, New York Life, Porto Olive Oil, McDonald's, and the Pacheco and Samara Law Group. Well, final statistics on the night. First of all, for St. Mary's, leading scorer Natalie, or excuse me, Sharice Holloway, 12 for 21. From the field, three for four from the arc for 32 points. Second leading scorer, Kat Tudor, seven for 10 from the field, seven for eight from three-point land, four for four from the line, 
25 points. Unique Coleman, six for 16 from the field, two for five from the arc, one for four from the line for 15 points. The rest of the St. Mary's Rams scoring, Bree Moore with eight, Angel Johnson with six, Carissa Ship with four, and Sydney, De- Sadal, Sydney Fadal with four. For St. Mary's as a team on the game, 34 for 79 from the field, 43%, 13 for 32 from the arc, 41%, 13 for 20 from the line, 65%. Leading rebounder for the Rams tonight, Bree Moore with eight, tied with Sharice Holloway, Cat uh, Tudor with six. Turnover story, St. Mary's wins that category as always, 38 to 18. Rams with 18 turnovers tonight, Armio with 38. Looking at the uh, statistics for Armio tonight, leading scorer, Marshani Call, six for 14 from the field, one for three from the arc, four for six from the line, 17 points. Malaya Gaines, seven for 12 from the field, one for two from the line for 15 points. And then Shade Ware, six for seven from the field, two for four from the arc, 14 points. Leading rebounders tonight for Armio, Malaya Gaines with 12, Shade Ware with 12. For Armio shooting tonight, 25 for 58 from the field, 43%, 2 for 12 from the arc, 17%, 9 for 21 from the line, 43%. Rebounding story, Armio wins that battle 50 to 40, but they lose the war tonight, 94 to 61. Final score tonight, St. Mary's 94, Armio 61. We'll see you Saturday night live from the Sleep Train Arena in Sacramento for the section championship game. Final score again, St. Mary's 94, Armio 61. Paul Sheep, proud to bring you this one here on Play On Sports saying good night, everybody.